Hi, I am Krista Belwinski, and I'm a Run Toledo ambassador. Um, I am a resident of Perrysburg. I've been here for about 10 years. Um, prior to that, I was a student at Ohio University, and I'm actually from the west side of Cleveland. I love it here. Uh, I especially love the Run Toledo community, all the races. Uh, running has brought to my life. As far as my family, it's just me and my husband Joe, Joe Belwinski, he's a little runner, you may or may not know him. And we've got two cats named Hexa and Elliot. So that's us, that's our family. I am a resident of Perrysburg, where we are now, in the beautiful downtown, sitting in front of Pure Bar. Uh, this is where I spend my days. My day job is as a Pure Bar teacher. As far as who I am outside of work and away from running, um, I have a husband, his name is Joe, and we have two cats. They're our furry children. Their names are Hexum and Elliot. I hated running as a child uh, and a teenager. So I played tennis in high school. And for tennis to warm up, we had to run two laps around three tennis courts. Not a lot of running. And I was the person on the team who actually cheated my way out of running my two laps. I usually ran one and then claimed I ran both. I got my start as a runner. It was back in 2011. Uh, in June through the start of July 2011, I was in Germany. I used to be a school teacher. I taught German at Whitmer High School for nine years. And then prior to that, I actually taught at Sylvania Northview High School for one year, German as well. Um, June 2011, I was in Germany and I noticed um, how active people are in Germany. They walk everywhere, they ride their bikes to work and it gave me some perspective on the way that I do things here at home and I realized I don't do anything active um, so I need to do something. So I got home, I think it was July 2nd of 2011 from Germany and uh, two days later I decided I am going to run. So I put on some kind of shoes, I think I had tennis shoes, like actual tennis shoes for playing tennis. Um, grabbed my iPod, put on a few Katy Perry songs, and I ran around the block. It was about three quarters of a mile. I have no idea how long it took me. I liked it. I did it the next day. Uh, I think I might have run a little farther on the next day, maybe one and a half blocks. Uh, and then a couple days later, I did it again. The next week, I decided I like running. I'm going to sign up for a 5K. So I registered for a 5K, ran that less than a month later. And then later that year, in November, I ran my first half marathon. And then in December of that year, I was on our couch drinking wine and kind of under the influence of said wine, I signed up for the Glass City Marathon for 2012. And uh, ever since I ran that marathon, I have just loved running marathons especially. I love running long distances. Um, that's how I became a runner. Crowning achievements so far, running the Boston Marathon. I've done it twice. I've qualified, actually gotten in three times. Uh, 2016, 2017, 2018. Um, chose to not run it in 2018 just because I thought, eh, I'll take some time off of running Boston. It's a big ordeal going out there, lots of things to do and money to spend and all this stuff, so I figured I'd take a year off of doing that. Um, at my first Boston Marathon, even bigger accomplishment than running the Boston Marathon itself, I ran my marathon PR, which I didn't expect at all. Um, everybody told me nobody PRs at Boston, um, and I did it. Uh, so uh, about a month later, I ran another marathon. I ran the Cleveland Marathon, and I took almost 10 minutes off of my time of my previous PR from a month prior to that. Um, and so my PR right now stands at that race, which was a 3.18.31. I'd love to run that fast again, maybe even faster someday. Just got to work really hard at it. Um, and that's it for me as a runner. Um, as far as upcoming races, this weekend, I don't know when you will see this video, but this coming weekend is the Miracle on Main Street 5K. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. I ran my 5K PR in the Miracle on Main last year, 20 minutes flat. I'm really happy about that. Um, not quite sure if I'll make it again this year that fast, but I love the race, a lot of fun. And I'm currently training for my next marathon, which is the Louisiana Marathon in Baton Rouge coming up toward the end of January. Um, so that's my next really big race. And then of course I'll do something at Glass City in the spring. I became a Run Toledo Ambassador back for the 2017 calendar year. Prior to that I had been a Glass City Marathon Ambassador and I loved the experience. Um, it's very social media driven and I thought, hey, why not do Run Toledo Ambassador stuff, give this stuff a try so that I could 
um, if you reach a larger range of audience. Um, as a Wrench Ludo ambassador, I really enjoyed getting to know people running. So not so much the social media stuff, that's not my forte. Um, I just love talking to people. Um, MIT, I've coached a few, t uh, few times. Love that I've developed relationships with other runners through that. And I really just enjoy showing up at races and talking to people. It's cool when people see the Run Toledo shirt and they know that they can approach me, ask questions. Um, and also I'm really proud to wear the Run Toledo shirt because we're a special group. We're really fun people. We love running and we love what running is doing for this community. Um, so I just love to promote all that stuff. Um, I look forward to being a Run Toledo ambassador again in 2019. Um, lots of fun things to come with Run Toledo. And that's it. <laughs>